New Field Exploration is here today to celebrate our partnership with the Uinta Basin Applied Technology Co College. They uh, are expanding their facility to be able to increase the demands uh, of the uh, future workforce of the energy industry in the Uinta Basin. Well, it's not often that we have a chance to celebrate a business partner that's so willing to um, share their means with colleges. And uh, we're certainly very, we've, we've been had a lot of support in the past, but uh, today uh, we expressed a need several months ago to some of our business partners of raising some money to build an, either an addition to this current building or a, uh, a little standalone building to, to help with our new petroleum technology program. And uh, Newfield stepped up to the plate and uh, they were very um, willing and able and, and wanted to help. And that today we get a check for $250,000. $250, uh, so it's a day of celebration that allows us now to go ahead and move forward with, with designing the building. The Uinta Basin uh, is a significant portion of the total production, uh, the total oil production in the state of Utah today. Uh, the state of Utah is the 11th largest producer of oil production in the domestic U.S. Uh, Newfield is uh, the largest producer uh, of oil in the state of Utah today, and we produce over uh, nearly one-third of the total production in the state of Utah. This space is something we don't really have here at the campus. Newfield and our other business partners recognize that and that's why they're willing to help us out. Um, so we can design this space specifically for that training in mind. And so rather than trying to make something fit, this will be, we we'll hope, a perfect fit for that type of training to augment the outside lab. And that, that's why it's so important to us. We needed to have it big enough and specialized enough and we needed extra money for it. And so like I said, Newfield stepped forward and that's what we're celebrating today. Good morning. Thank you for attending today. We're excited to have you at the Uinta Basin Applied Technology College, where we have a chance to celebrate one of our very important business partners, Newfield. Um, several months ago, uh, the opportunity came up for us to, to look at uh, adding a little bit of the building size to our current building here in Vernal, either standalone building or, or just a, an addition. And I went to our business partners at that time and, and requested some, some funds and Newfield stepped up to the plate and that's what we're here to to celebrate that uh, Newfield was was able and willing to see the need and come forward to help us out so welcome everyone it's good to see a, a room full of people uh, we appreciate uh, the media for covering us today this is a very important event for us at the Uinta Basin Applied Technology College to recognize one of our very valued business partners and their willingness to to participate with us and and bring resource to our community uh, We'd like to initially uh, turn the time over to uh, Mr. Daryl Howard, who is a Vice President of Newfield Exploration Rocky Mountains. Prior to this promotion in 2009, he has served as East Team Rocky Mountain Asset Manager since June of 2008. Previously, he assisted in establishing Newfield's Malaysia office and the growth of the company's international operations. Before this, he held positions of increasing responsibility and Newfield's Gulf of Mexico organization. He holds a BS, that's the closest thing we have to anything bad, he holds a BS and MS degrees in petroleum energy engineering from Louisiana State University. And it's my pleasure to, uh, to introduce and to welcome Daryl, please. Well, thanks, President Walker, for uh, arranging this uh, event this afternoon. Uh, I'd like to take a few minutes and share a few words about uh, Newfield. Uh, also take a few minutes to uh, talk about the energy impact uh, of the state uh, of Utah. Uh, and then also reinforce our commitment uh, and our support for the fine work that uh, the Uinta Basin Applied Technology College and the staff members are doing uh, to educate uh, the future workforce of our energy in the Uinta Basin. So uh, we're, uh, I just want to restate again that you know, we are proud to be a business partner uh, with the Uinta Basin Applied Technology College and, and those efforts uh, that are going to be very valuable and significant to the growth of the Uinta Basin training the, the new workforce of the future. 
So let me take a moment and uh, tell you a little bit about Newfield. Um, we're an independent oil and gas operator. Uh, we're located uh, headquarters in Houston, <coughs> Texas. Our Rocky Mountain division uh, is located in our office in Denver. Uh, and our Uinta Basin operations is located in our office in uh, Mighton, Utah. And a new field was founded in 1989 by a small handful of about 23 original employees. Uh, the business plan was fully focused uh, on the Gulf of Mexico. And over the years, we've expanded that business plan to include onshore Texas, uh, the mid-continent region, uh, internationally, as you mentioned, I had the opportunity of uh, working in our Malaysian office. Uh, and then also in 2004, uh, we got our first, first footprint in the Rocky Mountains uh, when we acquired a position in the Uinta Basin uh, from Inland Resources. Uh, in late 2010, we had the opportunity to be a part of a, a coveted crowd. We were added to the S&P 500 list, uh, a significant piece of business for, for Newfield. And today, uh, we are much larger and we're a much more diverse company uh, than we were in the prior two decades uh, of our orig original history. So as we zoom in a little bit to uh, what we're doing in the Uinta Basin in 2011, uh, let me just back up for one minute. Our foundational asset uh, that was acquired in 2011 is, uh, 2004 is what we call the Greater Monument Butte Unit. In 2011, we made a significant acquisition uh, two acquisitions, $300 million that expanded our position north of the Greater Monument Butte Unit into an area that we call the Central Basin. Uh, that added about 70,000 net acres to our total position of about 230,000 net acres uh, today. Uh, it's a key piece of business for us. It's a foundational asset. Uh, we're in early stages uh, of an assessment program uh, which we believe will unlock a significant resource with horizontal drilling technology uh, in that central basin. We are running seven rigs uh, in the basin today. Three of those rigs are dedicated to horizontal drilling uh, and that new technology of unlocking a vast resource uh, that we believe exists uh, in the Uinta Basin today. Nearly uh, one-third of our total company budget uh, is dedicated to the Uinta Basin. So we'll deploy about uh, a half a billion dollars in 2012. And with the success of that assessment program that I mentioned, uh, we certainly can, can look at adding additional capital into the basin. And of course, that capital drives growth, uh, jobs, and opportunities. So let me just kind of talk a little bit about the energy impact to the state of, the Utah, to the state of Utah and kind of what it means. Um, as most folks in this room may well know, Utah is the uh, 11th. Uh, largest oil producing state in the domestic U.S. Um, oil support in this, uh, oil production in the state has risen from 2004 all the way up to date. And in 2011, uh, uh, oil production in the state of Utah grew 6.5% uh, annually. Uh, that's about 26 million barrels of oil production in a given year. Uh, Newfield is the number one producer of oil in the state of Utah. We represent about one-third of that total production uh, of the 26 million barrels. So it's a key, people, key, key piece of business for us. Uh, and what I would like to tell you is that through that production stream, uh, we have generated almost $10 million annually uh, in state royalty and state severance tax. From 2005 until 2010, uh, that represent, re represented about $50 million in both taxes and royalty for the state uh, that was associated with that production stream. Um, we also enjoy a very valued partnership uh, with the Ute Tribe. Um, from 2007 to 2010, our tribal revenues just from leases uh, and fees and, and uh, uh, lease bonuses was about $5 million. Over that same period of time, uh, royalties paid to the tribe uh, amount to north of $20 million. So it's a very valuable relationship that we have with the tribe. Um, you know, they own the resources, they own the majority of the surface. Uh, we are a business partner that allows us to bring technology, capital, and resources to unlock that potential and create value for both of us for that business partnership. So through our co collaborative efforts, uh, we can grow production uh, in the basin, but more importantly, we can protect the environment as well and achieve responsible development uh, that's going to allow us to continue uh, a significant growth period uh, in the basin today. So those efforts, they translate not only into jobs, 
uh, but career opportunities, long-term career opportunities. Um, we are, we're committed to invest in the Uinta Basin, and we're committed to grow our production, and we're committed to do our best to, re to reduce our dependence on foreign <coughs> oil uh, with the activities in the Uinta Basin. So we're here for the long term. So um, that's why it's very important, and we look forward to our continued partnership uh, with UBATC, uh, certainly uh, uh, allowing us to employ a trained workforce uh, and allowing you the resources to be able to train that workforce. So I think it's a great partnership. I'd like to kind of pause for a second here and uh, introduce Reed Durfee. Uh, Reed is the district manager for our Utah operations. Uh, Reed started as a mechanic in the field in January of 2004, uh, and he's a founding member of the Rocky Mountain Business Unit. Uh, he was here day one uh, when Newfield entered the basin. He has 20 years of industry experience uh, and was recently promoted to district manager in May of 2012. So join me in welcoming Reed. Thank you, Darrell. I'd like to welcome everybody out today. Um, so I'm a native of the Una Basin. A lot of you sat in this room last week and listened to the black wax speech that I gave. This will be a little shorter, so we'll wrap this one up quick. Um, as Daryl stated, I was with uh, Inland National Resources when Newfield purchased them in 2004, so I was at the beginning of this process along with a lot of the guys that you see sitting up here in the front part of this. It's been a story of growth. Our current production for Newfield is 24,000 barrels of oil to today. Um, in 2004, we were at 7,500 barrels, so that's triple the production in that short amount of time. So. Obviously, we have a lot of plans going forward and doing some great things. In 2004, we had 150 employees in the Mighton office. Today, we have 460 plus. It was 458 last week, but I missed a few days, so I'm sure we're over 460, Bob? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I think this just helps illustrate the importance of this program that uh, we're partnering up with the industry and UBATC, training the professionals in the industry. Um, as Daryl stated, it takes a highly, it, it's a growing industry that takes a highly trained uh, people to come out of it. So, great opportunity within this. I also want to emphasize that Newfield conducts its business here in the basin as a good neighbor. Um, Newfield maximizes operational efficiencies within an existing footprint with reduced environmental impacts. We utilize modern air emission control technologies as well as state-of-the-art water treatment facilities. We drill from existing well pads, which means we have minimal surface disturbance. We instill in our culture responsible, safe, and forward-thinking operations, maintaining positive, collaborative relationships with all stakeholders. Responsible development can occur without harming the environment while creating significant benefits to federal, state, and local entities. Newfield will grow production while reducing emissions because environmental stewardship is foundationally important to Newfield and our industry. Last year we were honored when Governor Gary Herbert visited the Newfield Mine Butte operation. Um, the same day we were awarded the Earth Day, we received the Earth Day Award uh, from the Utah Division. Um, that's an exciting award. Uh, we talked a little bit about it last week, but obviously somebody nominates a, a producer for this award that is a good steward in the environment and the community, landowners, um, and we were nominated and received it. Actually, Sean McKinnon went out and received that that day. Along on that trip, uh, Governor Herbert, he gave us praise for our state-of-the-art water treatment facility and our role in driving the economics for the Uinta Basin and Utah. So that's a pretty big deal for us. Uh, Newfield encourages its employees to help and volunteer in the community. I'm sure a lot of you have seen us along the side of the roads cleaning up trash. Um, we're very active with the local food pantries. We always do our food drives from November to December in the <coughs> holiday season. We donated over 17,000 pounds of food last year. That's, that's an amazing amount of food. Um, along with a lot of other local charities that everybody's involved with. We always try to focus on our area children, and we keep close relationships with the landowners, uh, the Ute tribe, and all other entities. 
There's a lot of exciting things happening today, and Newfield will, or is, and will continue to be a big part of the Basin's future. Um, I'm excited to be a part of it. Uh, how many students are sitting out there that's in this program? Can you all stand? This group that's standing right now will be a part of the future for the industry. Thank you. Walt, I told you I was going to keep it short, so Walt's going to, uh, Walt Burdett, he is the instructor here, and he's going to take it from here. Thank you. Good morning. What a tremendous opportunity we have of uh, assembling together. I feel uh, very humble in so many uh, great people in the midst of you uh, are just absolutely awesome folks. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, and what a, uh, my name is Walt Burford. I'm an instructor here at the UBATC. And uh, my father once told me if you can learn something that no one knows, else knows how to do, you'll make a lot of money if you have the education to get that knowledge. The UBATC stands as that beacon in the dark, teaching skills so people can find better jobs, thereby giving families a better and more productive life as a community, cities, and as a nation. That education come back, it comes back to bless us all. Imagine that in a remote little community in the Uinta Basin, we would have such a tremendous system in place wherein people can walk through these doors and find training second to none. We have the instructors, the building, the equipment, all for the benefit of mankind. Where else would a person go to find such training? Of course, this is all made available through the many contributions of companies like Newfield. So as you can see, we're all here today employed in the people business. In the people business, aren't we? For what is a building and equipment with no people? What are roads and cars if there's no one to drive them? The catalyst that makes this happen are the absolute contributions in the form of money, time, and wonderful adjunct instructors who come into this place to teach. People like Jim Oleksi, who travels over 100 miles on Tuesdays and Thursdays nights to come in to teach and help teach the Petroleum Technology Group. People like Trevor Hoops with Anadarko, who do the same thing. And outside industry leaders who come to contribute their time, volunteer their time, in, in helping this program become successful. What a great opportunity. We have before you two-star students, Lalila. Lalila, would you stand? <laughs> she just loves this attention. <laughs> uh, uh, she is such a beautiful lady inside and out. In visiting with her one day, I asked, how did you get so smart and talented, as this lady can literally, literally do anything? She said, I grew up in, with racism and prejudice on both sides. I was nothing but a dumb Indian. I swore I would never raise my family like that. If you ever have a chance to meet her son, he is absolutely brilliant and a shining star. Education builds those bridges to help us overcome those canyons, to unite people together in a common cause. Tara, would you stand? Another shining star in our class comes from Nepal, and through many hardships and much perseverance, comes to this country. He has had to overcome the language barrier, learn our culture, find a job, and eventually, after a few years, he finds his way out here where he, he continues his education and wants to become a petroleum engineer. This is all made possible through the many contributions, helps, and ideas that come from visionary people who have dreams, goals. These gifts are not taken for granted. If Newfield wants just to write off, they could give it a thousand different charities and organizations. They could, there's a million people out there clamoring for money. Where will it go to help the most people is the question they raise. Through the hands of the UBACTC, this gift will benefit the lives of thousands and thousands of, of people, young and old. So again, thank you for all the great things that you're doing here. Uh, just a side note, Newfield is in the people business. I'd like to just tell a couple of personal stories if I could. There was a young man in the company uh, who was a, a 
father that was employed with Newfield. His son got cancer. And the employees of Newfield dug into their pockets and raised over $7,000 and gave to this father. And it's an undisclosed amount of money that Newfield gave also to this family. The Sub for Santa program, amazing. Uh, buying toys and, and, and for, for children. Uh, they're very involved in that. And there again, uh, and Reed just mentioned uh, the uh, donations for food. And they go around, they place these boxes. These are employees that place these boxes around. And we, uh, we contribute cans and so on. And then just before Christmas, they come, all the employees come and they gather these boxes up. And not only did they just unload the boxes at the food pantry in Roosevelt, they helped stock the shelves. This is all free gratis, you see. They're in the people business, aren't they? Yeah, that's what this is all about. It wouldn't make a hill of beans difference if there was no people to serve. That's what this is all about. So thank you again for being here. Uh, without any further ado, I will turn the time over to Mr. Tara. You're next on schedule. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I'm a little bit nervous. I never spoke before like this in a big crowd and big business and all these things going on here. <clears throat> Thank you for the opportunity to share the feeling that we have and the concern that we bring together and effort for everyone here being today it's, it's a great moment and a great feeling for me. Thank you again. My name is Tara Gautam. I immigrated from Nepal seven years before and became a citizen last year. I feel very fortunate, grateful to be a U.S. citizen. I strongly believe in education, which is the very best key of our life. Hard work is another key towards success for anyone. For me, being able to speak English is a privilege. Although I still have a long way until I speak English proficiently, yet this has provided me with great opportunity to come to U.S and became a citizen of the United States of America. America has been and will be the land of promise and dreams. Because of the UBATC and company like Newfield believing in education, I stand before you today. I cannot thank you, you all enough. I have been seeking an opportunity that I could have a good, stable job. Generous support from UBATC and company like Newfield, the door to that opportunity is open for me now. I could not be happier and more grateful for that. With my knowledge and skill that I have been learning from this program, I will work hard to better myself, the community where I live, and oil and gas industry as a whole. I am excited to work for this company who have given their support in this great education program. I, after completing this program, my goal in life is to work for oil and gas companies such as Newfield. To further my education, I would like to be a petroleum engineer and help those who seek education in the oil and gas industry. I cannot thank you enough those who have given of their time, effort, ability, and so forth. 
some of these people are but not limited to President Mark Walker, Vice President Jean Moll, Petroleum Energy and Transportation Executive Assistant Relaine Hagman, Instructor Walt Burfett, Bodban Gabby, Gavin Perry, and Ad Jung Instructor Jim Oloski, and Trevor Hoops, and all the program assistant and all of the company many all of many company and their generous donation especially new field and their generous donation is supporting this program and entire community we are very fortunate to have everyone's support in the success of this program thank you to the students of the full-time class as well as student at night class for helping me and thank you everyone again appreciate it hey little lila will be next thank you little lila. you thought you were going to get out of it didn't you <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and honorable dignitaries of Newfield. I hope you don't mind if I adjust this. My name is Lelila Longhair. I am a proud member of the Ute Indian tribe, and I have been a lifelong resident of the UN Basin. I have watched the ebbs and flows of the development of our natural resources within the UN Basin. When the Uena Basin Applied Technology Center announced that they were going to be starting the Petroleum Technology Program, I enrolled myself into the program because the, oil, because the oil and gas industry has such a tremendous impact in the communities that we live in. I wanted to learn about the processes that are involved in the development of our natural resources. Since being in the Petroleum Technology Program, I have learned that so much goes into the production of the oil and gas from when the process starts, which is the paperwork and the legwork, to the end, which is a producing weld. The equipment, the technologies, and the manpower that is needed to accomplish this process. The oil and gas industry in, is very, very complex and multifaceted. I would not have known that otherwise if I had not taken this course. I have also had the opportunity to attend classes with employees of Newfield and the other oil and gas companies within this area. Their added experience and knowledge has positively impacted my education. The generous donation Newfield is presenting today <coughs> will help the Petroleum Technology Program to grow and evolve into a program that will meet the needs of the various sectors within the oil and gas industry <clears throat> by not only providing instructional education, but also providing hands-on experience, resulting in a skilled individual which decreases the learning curve a new employee would otherwise have once they become employed within an oil and gas company. But I am grateful and appreciative of this program to the educators, to the donators. But for me, this whole experience has allowed for a humble person such as myself to indulge in the aspirations that I can be an entrepreneur, an employee of an oil and gas company, or maybe an executive in an oil and gas company. This program has opened my eyes to how we all need to work together that some, you know, to provide the end product. And I'm very grateful, again, as I said, appreciative 
and I'd like to send a heartfelt thank you to the staff and educators of the UBATC, to Newfield and the other oil and gas companies who are actively involved in making this program a success, and for providing me this opportunity to attend the Petroleum Technology Program. And thank you again, Newfield, for the generous donation, which someday I hope may make my aspirations come true. Thank you. Before I uh, make my concluding comments, uh, we would like to, if possible, get the money. <laughs> so uh, if we could do the, the ch uh, check. We had to make it so big because there's so many zeros on it is what they said. So, so congratulations, Mark. It's my pleasure uh, to prevent you uh, with a check. Sorry. Squeeze in there. Uh, for a quarter of a million dollars to the good work and the application of education in the Orange Basin. Thank you so much. If I made this a little bigger, we could got more zeros on that. <laughs> Next time. Next time. <laughs> you all heard that. I thought I was supposed to say Mark Walker, but that'll work. That'll work. Uh, I just want to thank so much uh, for uh, Newfield for allowing us to move forward in something that's very important to us as a community. Uh, as you probably know, the University of Applied Technology College had its roots about 44 years ago in Roosevelt. And uh, this is a relatively new building for us here. Uh, I wish that Vice President Jean Mould could be here. She had uh, a medical situation that's been taken care of and she's going to be fine. I really wanted her to be here because this was much of her brainchild as, as anybody. Uh, I would like just to welcome now that everyone pretty much is here. I'm not going to read off all the names because I'm going to miss somebody. But I do would like to recognize, if I could have all the UBATC employees and staff stand up just for a minute, please. And a round of applause for them. Uh, dean Edwards is the dean of the USU <coughs> campus here in, in Roosevelt and Vernal, and uh, they are marvelous partners, marvelous partners. I also would like to thank um, the Ute Tribe. Um, they are a, a major business partner for us, too, and Newfield, when we visit with the Newfield folks, um, it was brought even more forward how important the tribe is to us here. So thank you so much. Uh, just in conclusion, just, just a few things. Um, I've only been here about a year, and when I started here, I had been told by the UCAP president, Rob Brams, of the amazing support that the, that the communities, uh, Roosevelt and Vernal, uh, the counties, Duchesne, Daggett, and Uinta County, um, the cities, uh, certainly the industries are up here, and I had no clue the extent. Uh, it has just been mind-boggling for me uh, to come up here and to see the massive support that we have up here. And I want to congratulate all of the communities and all of the people of the communities for, for the massive support that you are to education here. Um, this year, if the numbers shake out like we think that they will, we'll, we'll have trained about 7,000. There's Boyd. Boy, I hate to put you on the spot, Boyd. This is my good friend. Uh, Dr. Boyd Edwards, he's dean of the USU campus, so thanks for coming back. You, you must have heard your name, right? You must have. Uh, now, where was I, Boyd? <laughs> 7,000 7, um, students this year. And, and to put that in perspective, there are bigger ATCs across the state. but We're only pulling, pulling from about 50,000 people in our area. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing, the number of people that we have a chance to impact and touch. And with the kind contributions of Newfield and other business partners, I certainly have to mention the, the, the county, the, the counties and, and the cities for all that they do, we'll have a chance to continue to grow that. 
Uh, one of the uh, reports that uh, one of the county commissioners um, uh, a few months back gave was that the number of wells that are currently in the approval process in the Uinta Basin. And currently we have, and I'm just going to ballpark it, about 8,000 wells now. And I believe Newfield has about 1,700 of those wells. Is that, is that right, Reed? Somewhere around there? Producing. Producing wells, correct. Uh, right now in the stages of, of being approved between the tribe wells and the other wells, there's, there's about 25,000 more wells in the process of the approval. So it's an exciting time to be here. Uh, we anticipate the need to continue to grow our ability to, to instruct and train. Uh, as you have a chance, if you look back behind us there, you will see the outside lab, the outdoor lab that the, that the uh, advisory committee uh, and Jean Mould and her group dreamed of doing. It's, it's just about done now. Uh, when it's all completed, we'll have about a million dollars of donated equipment. Uh, to augment that, it was determined we need, we need a specialized building space, a room space for a classroom and to house some cutouts and some other pieces of equipment that have to be housed. Uh, we talked several months ago about this, this building. I came to the Business Partners Advisory Committee and I held my hand out and said, we've got this much money for some land sale that we had previously. We need at least this much more and Newfield stepped up to the plate. And I want to commend them for that. Uh, you can say that it is somewhat self-serving because we do a lot of training for them in that and, they, and they're making good money right now because if you go to the pump, you understand that, but they're still willing to do it. And they did it with, with quickly and, and with eagerness to help out in the future besides. And so I want to I commend Newfield for doing that. What a wonderful thing to do. Um, our campus in Roosevelt, we've been able to, um, we're, we're in the process with the help of, of uh, Dean Edwards to free up some more space there. We're planning on, on augmenting our petroleum training out there also. Uh, if it's lab intensive, that has to be done, the lab here, we'll do it here. Much of our, much of our training we're hoping to have out, do out in Roosevelt. So we're a little closer to some of our people that come out this far and, and vice versa. So we're very excited about that too. Uh, just in conclusion, I want to give my special thanks uh, to, again, to our business partners. Um, Every time I go to, to uh, my presence meeting with the other UCAT, in fact, I'm told to kind of be quiet now because I, I, uh, I say too much about what's happening up here and there's a lot of envy there, but I just can't thank you enough. The people up here have caught the vision of education, whether it be the UBATC or the USU campus. Um, you're going to move forward. I think that you're going to manage the, the tremendous growth we're probably going to have. It's gonna, we're going to have some tough growing pains, but we're going to be able to manage that. And I think the winners overall are, are going to be the Uinta Basin people. And so it's our commitment from UBATC to move forward, to be uh, sensitive to the needs of, of the businesses and our business partners. And as long as we have good partners like Newfield, I think we'll be very successful. So thanks again, everyone, for coming. Uh, yes? Could I make one comment, please? Please, please. Hi. My name is Raymond Murray. And like Mark was said a few minutes ago, 40 years ago this start, when I go it'll be all 40 years with this institution. But one of the things that I really like to call Mender Field on is he got that first day of work. And that makes me proud of you for some reason. I was on the board of Augusta Mining for nine and a half years. And we did this and some of the criteria for doing that wasn't only the upkeep and the maintenance and the good things you did for all your wells and your well sites but it included what you did for your communities throughout. And these were some of the criteria we used when we were deciding who would receive that first day, and I'm quite proud of you for doing that. I've been in the oil business myself for years and years and years. I was a flag manager way back in the Bone Valley, then more in those days. And if you, some of you probably haven't even heard of that. But that was way back when Scott Jerry Energy, when they had to gas field over there. I was a lab man for all these people at that time. But one of my big concerns, and Mark knows, is the education that we're providing for these young people growing up. We have a lot of students that drop out of school. But if they come through here during that schooling period and picked up a trade, then we'll get them started with y'all. That's what we're looking for. And, and we hope to continue to do this for all of these students. And when you get companies like you guys that are willing to help these young people get a start, that's even better. Uh, 
Appreciate y'all. Thank you. Raymond's on our board of directors for the UBATC, so thank you. Thank you so much for coming. We hope it's a wonderful day for you. It's a marvelous day for UBATC. Thank you again. Thank you.